Hello Ninjas, Larry Kendall here. Have you been following the National Association of Realtors settlement of the lawsuits? Do you have questions about that? Has it created some uncertainty? Well, certainly some uncertainty was going to remain because we still have to have the judges approve the settlement. But I'm getting a lot of questions from Ninjas about what does this mean going forward? How do we navigate this shift? So we'd like to help you. We'd like to help clarify the situation. We've provided you with a set of resources that you can look at that will help you. Number two, we'll talk about how, how we work with buyers going forward, how we work with sellers going forward, and finally, what does all this mean to us as ninjas? Let's start, start with the resources. At the bottom of this video, there's five resources we would recommend that you take a look at. First of all is the settlement itself. It's 108 pages, but the most important pages are the five pages that start on page 27. This really tells us what we're going to be doing going forward. Number two is the National Association of Realtors Frequently Asked Questions. I highly recommend that you take the time to look through that because it'll help clarify. Number three, on December 4th, 2023, I was a guest on the Ninja Selling Podcast with Garrett and Matt, and we role-played what it was going to be like working with a buyer going forward. There are scripts, dialogues about how you articulate your value and how you ask for compensation. We've provided a link to that podcast. We recommend that you take the time to look at that. Also related to that, we have the value proposition and five points of value for a buyer. That script is provided to you in your resources as well. And finally, there's a table there that shows what can a seller offer a buyer in seller concessions and still comply with their loan. It depends on the type of loan that they're getting. All of those resources are there for you. If you'll take the time to look through those, it'll help clarify quite a bit of what's going on. Now, how do we work with buyers going forward? For ninjas, there's very little change because we've always followed the idea of the three-act play. Act one is the buyer counseling interview. Act two is showing property. Act three is the soft closing, writing the contract, and moving to closing. But this is going to be a big shift for a lot in our industry because most realtors that I've observed don't do an act one. They just run out and start showing houses. That's going to change. They're going to have to have a buyer counseling interview. They're going to have to have a time when they articulate their value proposition to a buyer and ask the buyer for compensation and sign an agreement. This is going to be required now before we can show property. For ninjas, we're already doing that. We're already having the buyer counseling interview. So there's very little change here. The only change will be how you articulate your value to a buyer. We've provided you with the scripts for that. And if you're going through the current installations, we've been teaching that now for several months. So you're all prepared. The only difference will be the nature of the agreement that you sign. We realize this is going to make it harder for some buyers, especially those who have a shortage of cash and all the cash needs to go to their down payment. We would recommend that you consider if you don't know if you're going to be compensated by the seller or the seller says, no, we're not going to compensate the buyer's realtor, that you consider writing a contract and asking the seller for seller concessions to the buyer. They can do this and the buyer can use those seller concessions for their closing costs to help pay your fee. How do we work with sellers? Well, do you remember the value clarification question for sellers? Do you believe your home will sell for a fixed price? Or do you believe it will sell in a range of value based on the marketing and negotiating skills of your realtor? My job is to help you get to the top of the range. One of the things I do to help you get to the top of the range is to show you our marketing plan, which is designed to give you maximum exposure in the market. The more exposure we can get you, the more showings we'll get you. Typically, the more showings lead to the more contracts. The more contracts you have, the stronger your negotiating position. Let me ask you this. Do you think you'll get more showings and more contracts 
if we open it up to the thousands of realtors who are members of the Board of Realtors, or if you just rely on one person to sell your property. I think most sellers will understand the benefits of that. They'll actually see that cooperating broker commission, not as an expense, but actually as an investment. One of the dialogues that's in your Ninja Manual is this. My fee to deliver all the services I've shown you so far is X. Now what we need to decide together is do you want to offer a cooperating fee to excite the other brokers in our market to sell your home? I think most sellers will decide to do that. You know what's interesting about that dialogue? It's been in the Ninja Manual for 30 years. So a lot of this is not new. Just settle down and just follow your Ninja process and you're going to be just fine. Okay, what does this mean for realtors? Well, unfortunately, what it means is that uh, all of this has really thrown some sand into the gears of how we do our business. It's what I call transactional friction. You know what's really interesting about you know, most business strategies, they're about how to reduce the friction, how to make it easier for people, not harder. Think in terms of Amazon. Think how easy it is now to, with a few keystrokes to order something and have it delivered the next day or the same day. Think how easy it was before to know exactly what's for sale, how you're paid, etc. Well, that's changed now. I think the people who have been leading this charge probably don't understand our business like we do. But the net effect is there is more transactional friction. But you know what? We can turn that into a good thing. Because here's my experience. The more complicated it gets, the harder it gets, there's a flight to quality. People need the best people to be able to navigate the market and navigate the changes that are going on and the complicated nature of what we're doing. We have a saying in Ninja, the system works if you work the system. We also say the system works regardless of the market that you're in. The market is shifting into how we do our business, but guess what? If you just follow the Ninja systems, you're going to be fine. This is a time really to take a big deep breath, to relax, and just focus on delivering value to your clients, both your buyers and your sellers, and focus on the basics of Ninja, your buyer process, your seller process, and your Ninja 9. I want to wish you the best in the shifting market. We're going to be just fine.